Hi, I'm London Hughes, and this is That So Random. Your new memoir, Living My Best Life, Hun, is out now. What's the hardest part about sitting down to write about yourself? The hardest part is reliving childhood trauma, especially when you didn't realize it was trauma in the first place. So when you write about it, you take yourself back there and you're 12 years old again with acne and BO and it's a horrible time. So yes, that's the worst part. <laughs> what do you hope people take away from your book? Um, the book's for dreamers. It's for people that were told no a lot. I was told no, you wouldn't do it, you wouldn't achieve it. And now I'm here, living my best life, hun. Okay. What jobs did you have before you became a comedian? Would you go back to any of them? No, I only had one job. I'm that talented that I was working at TGI Fridays, got fired and became a comedian at 19 and now I'm 34. So literally I couldn't even be employed because I had nothing on my resume. But at TGI Fridays, I made balloon animals and I got a lot of tips and met a lot of cute guys. So maybe I could go back there. You made a video of your parents reacting to your Netflix comedy special to catch a dick. Honus was hereditary. Now I know, now I see why you didn't want us to see it. <laughs> and they seem to take it pretty well. Is there anything they hope you never talk about or you feel would be hard for them to hear? Yes, my dad still hasn't watched my Netflix special to catch a dick. Like he has not watched it. He was like, there's some things a father need not know about his daughter. And I'm literally deep throating a microphone so I'm really glad that he hasn't watched it. My mum loves it. Watch my daughter, London Hughes, new Netflix special to catch a dick. Your comedy is both self-deprecating and empowering. That is so true, guys. Thanks for just pointing that out. I have levels. Was it always that way? What were those early days in comedy like for you? I've always been a comedy genius. Um, I've always liked to dive deep in, and like some people talk about sex for vulgar sake, for, for, for no reason. I talk about it because I'm a feminist and I'm an icon. When I say I, I have no gag reflex, it's also feminism. So I'm very deep, I've always been that way. I started this shit. Megan Thee Stallion, what? It's me, I have a wet ass pussy. What song can you not help but sing out loud when it comes on? Can you sing a bit of it? What song can I not help but sing? I'm living my best life. Ain't going back to front with you, N-words. I can't say the N-word because I'm British and it sounds racist in my accent. So I just, <laughs> just go, mm. We know Elizabeth was your queen. She was. But who's the real queen? Beyonce or Rihanna? Beyonce? Oh my God, Rihanna doesn't even sing. Beyonce's the queen. I just saw her in concert. She's insane. Best living performer ever. One thing you can admit you suck at. I suck at cooking. I can't cook. I don't cook. It's beneath me in every way. Uh, favorite project you've worked on thus far? Oh. Oh, my Netflix special to catch a dick. Watch it, it's produced by Kevin Hart. It's out in 194 countries. Um, uh, dream comedian to go on tour with, dead or alive? Me! Wait, I can't say me, I'm... Well, I can, I'm alive. No, uh, who would I go? I, am I opening for them? Because I don't want to open for them, I want a headline. In five words, why should we read your new memoir, Live My Best Time? In five words. Because it's amazing, babes, gorgeous. There we go. <laughs> that was terrible. Wait. Oh, because it's Beyonce in book form. Boom. 